Uh, but yeah, time to kill this guy. He has like twice the health of the others. You can tell because he's larger. Or at least it's a nice little indicator. Uh, maybe I should stick to this. I don't want him to completely wreck me, so... Oh, well, hang on. There we go. That move still goes through great shields. That's how strong he is. Yep, kill him. And out pops... Onion, bro! Nope, it's not him. It was you who rescued me. Why, thank you. I am Vigeland of Katarina. I don't know how I ended up in that crystal. It wasn't terrible in there, but I could hardly move. I must think of some way to repay you. No big deal, but you want to talk to her a second time. Oh, have you seen my father? You wouldn't miss him. A suit of armor just like mine. Yep, it's her daughter. It's her daughter. It's his daughter. But yes, you tell her you've seen him. Thank goodness. I knew he was here somewhere. Well then, now I must find him. Thanks again, truly. Now oh, if we just stay put and keep out of trouble. <laughs> she knows her dad's a bit of a troublemaker. But yeah, uh, after that, she will go to Firelink trying to look for him. Of course, he won't be there, but she'll just kind of be waiting there, wondering where her father is. And there's, I believe... One more meeting? There may be a second meeting, actually, but, uh, as far as I remember, there's one more meeting with, uh, her dad. And it's the big, uh, decider of how the story's gonna end. Hopefully I can get the good ending, because then that can coincide with me going down to Ash Lake, because that's where they are if you get the, uh, the best ending for his story. If you don't get the best ending for his story, he either... I believe the other endings are he just kind of disappears, or he, like, kills himself or something. It's kind of depressing. Um... Yeah, so you want to get the best ending so that they'll uh, meet back up, be a happy family and all that jazz. Because otherwise it's just kind of sad. And you can't really fuck up in a game like Dark Souls because the stupid autosave feature will make sure that you're totally like locked into whatever ending uh, you get for them. Before you can do anything about it. Unless you're really quick on it and you know you're about to screw up or something, then you can stop before it happens. Uh, yeah. Actually, it's a good way to probably uh, stop it. If you, if you do the trick that makes it an easier chance to succeed, then... Oh, no, he doesn't kill himself. He just dies. Which is also kind of, you know, sucks. But <laughs> but I, I just remembered how he dies. That's why I remembered that that's what happens. Um, basically, uh, to, to give a vague but still not very spoilerific uh, uh, somewhat summary of what happens is basically you need to fight some enemies because you both get kind of stuck in a little trappish area. Uh, and there's four enemies, and the thing is, you fight them with Onion Bro, and if he, if you can kill them, all four of them, before his health drops to under 50%, I believe it is, then you get the good ending. If he drops under 50% when you kill them all, then he dies. And the other option is, if you don't choose, start the conversation with him to fight against all of them, and you kill them all yourself, and he doesn't help at all. He doesn't, like, land any, like, blows against enemies. I don't know if he has to kill any, or if he just has to swing and strike at one. Um, but yeah, if he doesn't do that, then he'll just kind of feel like he's completely worthless, because you did all the work. Like, almost, like, you've been doing the work for him a lot of the time. Uh, like, you open the gate, you stop the boulder trap, you, what was the, what was the next thing you did for him? You, uh, Shit, I'm gonna try and remember. Anyways, this area, well, while I'm thinking about it, this area is very pretty. Uh, just, just, just as a side remark. There's also a very douchebag area, and you'll see why in a second, right here. See those little snowflakes? They're not just there for a reason. There's invisible fucking floors. Gigantic dick move, but yeah. Anyways, uh, the next place you help Noni Bros when you're in An Orlando, and he doesn't know how to clear the room of skeleton people. Uh, you kill all those. Uh, then he gets stuck down in Blight Town, and you give him the, uh, herbs to restore poison for that. So yeah, if you do the very last one where you do all the work yet again, then he feels like he's completely worthless and he just kind of wanders off. And yes, that is a butterfly. It's got the same skin as the Moonlight Butterfly. I don't think you get the soul of a Moonlight Butterfly for killing him, but you may get the same soul reward for it. But you really don't want to do it because they'll kind of just hover away from where you can stand and shoot at you. So unless you're a ranged attacker, then it kind of screws you up path ahead. Uh, the paths are decently large, so it's not too big a video to kind of go across. If you're nervous about where you're going, if you remember the chest on the way here had a prism stone, uh, or had 20 prism stones, those are items you can just basically throw in front of you in the break. Uh, normally completely worthless, they're good for this area to show that there's a indeed a path in front of you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Whoa, 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 I'm like falling off of this thing. Holy shit, that was weird. That, that running angle was very strange, that was not me. The game is doing that. 
try and get this guy. Oh shit. God. I wanna kinda navigate around and strike at him. Actually, I'm just gonna throw a fireball at him. Fuck this. Uh-oh. Yeah, get him out of the way. Aw, oh, come on. Almost got him. No! He fell off! Well, fuck. I wanted his items. He drops some, like, I think he drops one of the, um... Fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh... Titanite. One of the special Titanites. Fuck. Oh, well. Uh, there's another path over here. I'm very nervous to go on it. Uh, here it is. Sometimes you have to wait a second for the, the flakes to appear so you can see exactly where the path is. Uh... There's a snowflake over there that did not break. Yeah, there are some snowflakes that fall and do not break, so keep a watch out for those. Usually it's not too big a deal. The paths are pretty, you know, straight, like literally they're straight. So it's not usually too hard to deal with, but uh, yeah, there, there are some that kind of screw you up. Oh God. No! What a dick! Well, time for me to run all the way back. I was an annoying trek back. At least I got a blue Titanite chunk out of it. All right, now it's time to get rid of this asshole. Revenge on him. I forgot, you want to stick on the right side for this one? Uh, the left side leads to death and pain and misery and falling. You know, that that kind of precedes the whole death part, but, you know. At least I have a max uh, Chaos Fireballs back again. Tag me. No, I don't want to use my combustion on him from here. Well, that does a lot of damage, too. All right. At least he's out of the way now. Did he drop anything? What a dick. Oh well, I can get this. I forget what this is. Blue Titanite Chunk! Yay, another one! Anyway, it's time to get the hell out of this place. I don't want to stand here any longer. Heading back is always harder for me than going over here. I think this is about the straight path. Uh, yeah, but I was going to stay saying... Blah, 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 blah. What I was saying before is the paths are generally pretty straight. As in, like, you know, straight lines. So, they're usually not too hard to, to, to follow. It's not too big a deal. Um, there is one more path I need to follow, though. Hang on. Uh, I think I can drop down onto it over here. Yeah, you need to drop to this anyways. What you do is you drop here, but don't, instead of going forward, you turn around, and you can go through this cool little cave. Well, first, there's two of these guys here, so that's cool. Fuck, I missed one. Or did I? I don't even know. There's a one corpse. There's... I think there's only one corpse. Shit, I think I missed the other one. Oh well. And then there's a uh, path over here. And it's pretty uh, straight, but it, it's a little it's a little curvy, actually. Hang on, go over here. Onto this, here, thank you. And then it looks like the path's still over here. And then it wraps over here. I don't know how large, how, how wide the paths are, actually. Ooh, blue titanite slab, excellent. I don't know how wide the paths are, actually, but, uh... It always just makes me nervous to stand on these things. This path. Because it feels like this one curves more than the others. If, if if at all. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just really wide. Uh, okay, over here. I don't know why they decided invisible paths were a good idea. Oh, wait. Are there two bodies there? No, it's just one. Damn it. Missed the other one. Well, I'm not going to try and get the other one. I'm not going to, like, respawn and come back. That's way too much work. Way too much time to spend trying to chase it down. Anyways. There is a body over here with stuff. I almost did not notice it. Hello, what do you have? Soul of a hero. Oh, God, I angered the butterfly. Oh, God. I forgot getting too close angers that one. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. You did it. That's great. Lovely. I'm going to run this way. <sighs> Okay, well, that's a little annoying. Uh, these enemies, they're also a little bit annoying, but uh, they drop cool stuff usually, so it's worth it. Worth worth putting up with them. Uh, two hit stuns. And, like, fifth hit kills them. They don't always drop items, but they usually do. Uh, sometimes you can't see the pickup item thing either. You just kind of have to move in front of their little corpse and see if there's a pickup uh, message. Come on. I have more you to fight. 
You can farm these guys for stuff. It's usually not the greatest way to spend your, spend your time playing, but uh, it, it can be worthwhile. They have some pretty good stuff. They also do a lot of fucking damage if you're not careful. So you gotta, well, be careful. Shit, I aggroed way too many of them. I'm going to, where the hell is that guy going? Try and whittle them down, one at a time. Ow. This is also why I got extra flasks, because of these guys. They can be annoying. Ow. Okay, I need to heal. Backing up. Oi, stop it! Kill this one, get over with. Alright, any items dropped from any of these guys? Nothing. Oh, this guy dropped one. Twinkling Titanite! Yes, more armor upgrading. But yeah, they dropped Twinkling Titanite and other good Titanite stuff, so it's it, it's worth killing them. They can be annoying, but they're worth killing. Ugh. I don't think I'm gonna come back, though. But yes, now it is time. Need Hollow. Really? Not really. Uh, try ranged battle. Yeah, this this fight's a little annoying. Uh, basically, Seath figures out you're here because, if you remember what the one guy was telling us, there is a nice little item that's keeping him immortal. Right there. Seath knows we're here! He doesn't like this. He likes his immortality. This ugly ass flies in and wants to stop you. Hello, Seath. I'm gonna run this way now. Bye! <laughs> Huzzah! And he's like, no! Painful! Oh, 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 it hurts! <laughs> Not now! It's it's pretty straightforward from here on out. You just kind of cast fire or ice crystal stuff, and you can just swing at him. Uh, also, you can't cut off his tail because he doesn't really have one. He has these weird leg tentacle things, but uh, oh Jesus, that's painful. Nope, I'm out of here now. Over here, what are you gonna do? I already took out like half his health. Ow, I hit my desk. Fire! More fire! More fire! I'm just gonna keep casting fire! This, like, this fight can be stupid easy if, he's, if he doesn't attack very smartly. Which he didn't during this fight. That was very anticlimactic, Seath. I'm disappointed in you. But yep, you get the Lord's, the, the Lord's Soul Shard from him. It's uh, straightforward. And whenever you kill a boss, uh, one of the big major bosses, they drop one of these! Which you can warp to, which means I can actually farm those guys if I wanted to come back, which I don't really. Uh, so yeah, that, that was Seath. Uh, what boss do I usually do next? Uh, what's left? Four kings, I think I do second to last, so I think Nito's up next. Yeah, I don't really want to deal with the uh, ghost people, so yeah, I'll do Nito next. That'll be a short one, because I already did half of the undead area. Basically all that's left is the Tomb of the Giants. So that's next, and I can just warp to Tomb of the Giants, can't I? Yeah, I can just warp to Tomb of the Giants. Alright, so I'm gonna warp to Tomb of the Giants. Next up is Nito. I'm gonna take his skeleton ass down. Or skeleton asses, because he's made up like a quadrillion different skeletons. Fucking creepy.